Um, so, I, I want to say a couple of things, very, very, two things only. One is, my fucking crew who put this shit up in the air in that less than a day. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Marvelous. Okay, thank you. What that must be like. Anyway, and now they've got to take it down and take it up to Toronto and do it all again. Anyway, that was one thing, so thank you, crew. You're amazing guys, and I love you all the people. Um, but thank you also, really, for coming to this, the first show of this tour. So thank you, Pitch Boy, for you, for the bottom of our hearts. We, we remember most of it, and, um, I don't know, we came here with a lot of love in our hearts and we found a lot of love in your hearts. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, back in 1957, getting a bit serious again, I'm afraid. Well, I'm not afraid. I fear nothing. <laughs> Except possibly being alone. Well, I'm not alone, because my band are here and you're all here. And my wife is here somewhere in this giant arena as well. And we are lucky to be in a community of like-minded people who care about each other and who care about all our brothers and sisters all over the world, irrespective of their nationality or religion or ethnicity. Or their Anyway, somebody else saw a group of people who cared about them as well. Back in 1957, the Committee of uh, Atomic Scientists got together and they invented the concept of the um, doomsday clock. It was a rather, it's a rather gloomy concept, but it's something that we should pay attention to. <coughs> Back then in 1957, the clock was supposed to go, uh, it's a 12 hour clock and it's ticking and uh, if the if the minute hand reaches midnight, or the second hand reaches midnight, that is nuclear Armageddon, and we're all dead. So we, we don't want that to happen. In 1957, they set the clock at 20 minutes to midnight. It is now at 90 seconds to midnight. This is a song I wrote in 1982. It's kind of about that concept. It's called Two Sons of the Sunset. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Listen to the good story. I think I can hear it ticking right now.
rusty wire that holds the cold that keeps the
apologise to Bob Dylan, Robert Zimmerman, to some of you, because uh, I've stolen uh, some of his ideas. Well, not some, one of his ideas here. And I've plagiarised uh, that idea. He made a great album in 1968, which I bought, and I was flabbergasted because the whole of one side was one simple song. And that song is called Sad Eyed Lady of the Lowlands. A lot of you will know it. It's a great, great song. So I've stolen that idea of the Sad Eyed Lady. Don't tell Bob. <laughs> so, so there we are. So that's that. Um, this is this is another couple of uh, another verse, one verse out of the long song, The Bar, which I know I will record at some point and, and give to you. Um, okay, so that's that, Bob Dylan and uh, other <coughs> yeah, there we are. The other person who I must mention is my wife, Camilla, who's here tonight, so thanks, baby, for everything. <laughs> we are a property. And maybe it was, maybe it is with, all right, here we go.
Thank you.